Over the past few days, astronomers and geophysicists have been scrambling to process a remarkable chain of cosmic and terrestrial events. Two nova explosions erupted in the skies, dazzling observers and delivering a surge of high-energy radiation into the solar system. Almost simultaneously, Venezuela was struck by two major earthquakes, back-to-back -back tremors registering magnitude 6.2 and 6.3, followed by a 5.8 aftershock. And as if that were not enough, the interstellar object known as 3I Atlas was struck directly by a coronal mass ejection, or CME, from the Sun, just as it continues its extraordinary journey through the inner solar system. Taken together, these events paint a picture of a universe that feels more dynamic, more interwoven, and perhaps more unpredictable than we usually allow ourselves to imagine. The seismic activity in Venezuela was notable not only for its strength, but also for its timing. Within less than six hours of each other, the country experienced two large ruptures in nearly the same location, a pairing that stands out in the recent catalog of earthquakes. Both quakes struck on land, one at a shallow depth of about 8 kilometers, and the second somewhat deeper, creating the impression of cascading energy release, the first shaking the crust near the surface, the second pushing further downward. This sequence marked the strongest seismic activity since the massive 7.8 quake off Kamchatka, Russia, earlier in September. Observers who tracked the intersections between space weather and terrestrial events noted that the Venezuelan quakes coincided with a drop in solar wind density following the impact of a high-speed stream from a coronal hole. Some researchers hypothesized that such decreases in density create subtle imbalances in the electromagnetic environment surrounding Earth, possibly influencing tectonic stresses. Though this remains speculative, the pattern has been observed before, and once again the timing appears uncanny. While Earth's crust was convulsing, the heavens flared with sudden brilliance. On September 23rd, amateur astronomer Dr. John Sitch discovered not one but two new nova explosions, V1935 Centauri and V7994 Sagittarii. Novae occur when a star in a binary system accumulates material from its companion, building up to a sudden thermonuclear outburst that dramatically brightens the system. Unlike supernovae, which obliterate entire stars in titanic detonations, novae are more contained, but still powerful enough to release bursts of gamma rays and X-rays, visible even across vast distances. V1935 Centauri in particular surprised astronomers with its brightness, quickly reaching magnitude 5.8, making it visible to the naked eye in the southern hemisphere. By contrast, V7994 Sagittarii, with a discovery magnitude of 6.2, hovers just outside naked eye visibility, but can be captured with long exposure photography or binoculars. Both events have already been confirmed by professional observatories and space-based instruments, including Fermi and Swift, which measured the gamma ray activity unleashed by these stellar flares. This is not the first time multiple novae have erupted close together. In July, two other nova explosions were recorded, events that coincided intriguingly with climatic shifts and, days later, a colossal earthquake. Scientists are cautious about drawing firm causal links, but they cannot ignore the timing. Stars exploding across interstellar space may seem far removed from the rhythms of our planet, yet bursts of high-energy radiation do wash through the solar system, affecting the heliosphere, the solar wind, and perhaps in subtle ways, Earth's delicate balance of electromagnetic and atmospheric processes. In antiquity, comets and stellar explosions were read as omens of great change. Today, with satellites and observatories, we record their photons and particles, yet the sense of cosmic resonance remains. Into this charged backdrop enters the enigmatic visitor 3I Atlas, only the third interstellar object ever detected. Discovered earlier this year, it has already puzzled astronomers with its unusual behavior. Unlike most comets whose tails unfurl in clear alignment with solar radiation pressure and solar wind, 3I Atlas seems to defy expectations. Some observations show a tail pointing away from the sun, as expected. Others, especially from amateur astronomers, show a tail apparently pointing toward the sun. Professional telescopes using advanced imaging techniques detect an anti-sunward tail, while smaller instruments report the opposite. This conflicting data suggests an object with complex dynamics, perhaps influenced by its unique interstellar origin or unusual composition. What makes this even more compelling is the object's response to solar activity. 
In July, when a series of CMEs swept across its path, 3i Atlas appeared to expand its coma, the diffuse envelope of gas, dust, and plasma surrounding it, brightening significantly in the process. Observations revealed an increase of nearly 20-fold in brightness, a staggering jump for such an object. Now, in late September, another CME has struck it, this time at closer range as it passes near Mars. Unlike the diluted impacts of July, this solar storm carried greater density and force, delivering a more direct jolt. Scientists anticipate that the effect could be dramatic, with further brightening or morphological changes to the comet's coma and tail. Already, measurements estimate its gas envelope stretches over 100,000 kilometers, with carbon-based compounds such as cyanogen and carbon dioxide contributing to its immense cloud. And woven into that gas and dust is plasma, ionized matter that interacts powerfully with solar wind. As space physicists remind us, more than 99% of the universe is plasma. To describe such objects as merely gas and dust is to overlook the charged, electrically active reality of their nature. Understanding these plasma interactions is key. When electrons and protons are stripped apart, they do not simply recombine. Electrons often attach themselves to dust grains, slowing recombination and sustaining the plasma environment. When a CME sweeps across such a structure, it can amplify these ionized states, reshaping the tail and altering the object's brightness. On Earth, similar solar impacts generate auroras and geomagnetic storms. On Mars or Venus, which lack strong magnetic fields, solar storms induce temporary magnetospheres, altering atmospheric escape. For an interstellar comet plunging through the solar system, these forces may be transformative. All this comes at a moment of heightened solar activity. Sunspot counts have surged past 160, and solar flux, a measure of radio emissions linked to solar activity, has climbed above 180 solar flux units. The sun is approaching the peak of solar cycle 25, and October and November are expected to be particularly active months with heightened risks of flares and CMEs. Earth's own electromagnetic environment, measured in resonances and atmospheric currents, is showing shifts while seismic activity continues to punctuate the record. The Venezuelan quakes are not isolated. They join a series of major tremors that appear to cluster after solar wind fluctuations. Some researchers propose that drops in solar wind density create a vacuum-like condition around Earth's magnetosphere encouraging tectonic plates already under stress to slip. Though unproven, the hypothesis continues to gain attention as event after event seems to line up with solar triggers. The coincidences grow more striking. Two nova explosions, two earthquakes, two CME impacts on the same interstellar object within months. In mythology and history, comets and celestial outbursts were considered harbingers of transformation. Modern science approaches these phenomena with instruments and models, but even here the sense of synchronicity lingers. Could it all be coincidence? Likely, yes. Could there be subtle resonances linking stellar events, solar dynamics, and terrestrial responses? The question is harder to dismiss. Speculation flourishes in such moments. Some point to the geopolitical context. Venezuela, a nation locked in long-standing tension with the United States, is struck by rare twin quakes. Russia, another geopolitical adversary, experienced the 7.8 quake near Kamchatka. Conspiracy theories about earthquake weapons resurface, though without evidence. More measured voices suggest that both geopolitical stress and geophysical stress are symptoms of deeper patterns, archetypes playing out across different scales. The Earth groans along its fault lines, stars flare in binary cycles, and comets sweep in from interstellar space, and humans attempt to find meaning in the pattern. The NOVA discoveries by John Seinwalch underscore the remarkable role of citizen science in this era. With modest equipment and dedication, amateurs can still catch celestial phenomena before the world's largest telescopes turn their gaze. Once confirmed, the data cascade through professional networks, 
from gamma-ray observatories to astronomical telegrams. Within hours, the global scientific community is analyzing the light curves, spectra, and energy outputs of these distant explosions. B1935 Centauri sudden brightening has already drawn attention as possibly atypical, perhaps not a simple nova at all, but something more exotic. Its continued monitoring may reveal whether it stabilizes or undergoes further outbursts. For 3i Atlas, the coming weeks are pivotal. On October 3rd, it makes its closest approach to Mars, less than 0.2 astronomical units away. On October 21st, it will align in superior conjunction with Earth, passing behind the Sun from our perspective. And on October 29th, it reaches perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun. Each of these milestones will provide opportunities for astronomers to track its evolving coma, tail, and brightness. Already, the object has defied expectations, showing anomalous tails, plasma-rich envelopes, and a stubborn refusal to fade back to predicted brightness levels. If it continues to react dramatically to solar impacts, we may learn more about both the object itself and the nature of interstellar wanderers in general. The first interstellar object, Oumuamua, was an asteroid-like body with no coma or tail, sparking endless speculation about its origin. The second, Borisov, was a more typical comet. 3i Atlas may yet prove to be something stranger, a chameleon-like body that reshapes itself under the gaze of the sun. The sun is the stage upon which much of this cosmic drama unfolds. Its magnetic fields twist and coil like giant springs, releasing their tension in bursts of energy that give rise to sunspots, flares, and colossal coronal mass ejections. From our vantage point on Earth, the sun may look steady and unchanging, but it is in fact a stormy star, exhaling a constant wind of plasma at hundreds of kilometers per second. This solar wind fills the solar system, brushing past planets, moons, comets, and even interstellar visitors like 3i Atlas. Earth is protected by its magnetic field, which deflects much of this flow, but not all of it. When a powerful eruption slams into the magnetosphere, the shield trembles, auroras ignite across the skies, and technological systems can falter. Satellites are disrupted, communications flicker, and power grids strain under the surge. In this way, the sun is both benefactor and threat, the source of light and warmth that sustains life, and at the same time, a volatile force that can unsettle the delicate systems on which our civilization depends. With Solar Cycle 25 building toward its peak, more such surprises are almost inevitable. On Earth itself, the most urgent concern has been seismicity in Venezuela. The twin earthquakes, a shallow 6.2 followed only hours later by a deeper 6.3, struck the same region in quick succession, followed by a 5.8 aftershock. This pattern suggests the crust is under considerable strain, with stress being redistributed through the fault system. The area is no stranger to seismic upheaval. A 7.3 quake occurred there in 2018, and history shows the potential for further large events. For residents, the shaking was a reminder of the region's tectonic volatility. And for monitoring agencies, it underscored the importance of staying alert to what may yet come. At the same time, the night sky delivered its own upheavals. The discovery of two new novae, V1935 Centauri, now visible to the naked eye in the southern hemisphere, and V7994 Sagittari, just beyond unaided vision, provided astronomers with fresh case studies of stellar cataclysm. Each nova represents a binary system where one star siphons matter from its partner until it erupts in a sudden blaze. These explosions emit high-energy radiation, detectable across the electromagnetic spectrum, and every new observation helps refine our understanding of how such systems evolve. To witness two occur so close together in time is a rare gift for science. And then there is 3i Atlas, the interstellar visitor threading its way through the inner solar system. This object has already confounded expectations with its strange, shifting tail and its dramatic brightening earlier in the year. Now, struck directly by a coronal mass ejection, it serves as a natural laboratory for studying how alien material interacts with solar plasma. Each change in its coma, each anomaly in its brightness, is a clue not only to the composition of this mysterious traveler, but also to the sun's far-reaching power. 
For scientists, it is a reminder that the solar system is not a closed box, but a crossroads where forces from deep space, stellar outbursts, and planetary dynamics converge in ways both subtle and spectacular. And for those inclined toward broader reflection, the juxtaposition of these events, Earth trembling, stars flaring, comets shimmering, offers a reminder of the interconnectedness of cosmic systems. Whether through direct physical interactions, subtle electromagnetic influences, or simply the resonance of coincidence, we are participants in a universe alive with change. Stars explode, the Earth quakes, and visitors from distant suns brush against our star's breath. To live on this planet, in this time, is to witness a cosmos that refuses to be still. In the coming weeks, scientists will continue to watch closely. They will measure the light curves of novae, track seismic aftershocks in Venezuela, and point telescopes at the evolving coma of 3i Atlas. Each new data point adds to the tapestry of understanding. Yet, even as the numbers accumulate, the story retains a sense of drama, of unfolding mystery. Something clearly is happening, not just on Earth, not just in one star system, but across the interconnected expanse of space. The challenge is to keep observing, to keep questioning, and to keep seeking the deeper patterns that bind these events together.